But thanks for coming back. Uh, stay tuned. I've got a blooper at the end of the first time I installed one of these uh, Raptors. And uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll put it at the end. So today we're going to talk about the difference between Minn Kota Raptors and Minn Kota Talons. And because I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there, you know, spring again is around the corner or is here and you're trying to decide which type of shallow water anchor do you want? Do you want the Talon? You know, Minn Kota's been making Talons for, for many, many years now. Uh, that's what I've been using on my boat for the last five, six years since we came out with them. Uh, and then this year we came out with Minn Kota Raptors, a hydraulic system. And there are differences between the two. So I want to help you understand the differences and go through uh, the pluses and the minuses of each system and help you make a decision for yourself and head down to your dealer and let them know which one you want, right? So anytime I do a comparison video like this, I like to first start off with what they have in common, right? The main thing is, whether it's a, a Talon or a Raptor, they're all part of the Minn Kota Humminbird One Boat Network, which means these are Bluetooth controlled. So you can actually control them from your iPilot Link remote, or you can control them from uh, your, your, you know, the phone apps. The main thing is you can actually control them from your Humminbird. I've been controlling my Talons from my Humminbird for a few years now, and it's very practical, and I use it very often, right? So they're all, either one is part of that One Boat Network. Uh, that, like I said, they're Bluetooth, they're wireless. So each one comes with two remotes in the box. So you can, you know, put one around your neck or in your pocket, uh, or you can mount one near your console. Uh, it comes with a little clip to mount them and uh, you can control it with wireless Bluetooth uh, remotes that come with it. Or if you prefer foot pedals, you can get this style of foot pedal for either one or new this year are the stomper switches. So you can get these for either one as well. Um, and uh, I'm gonna try these out this year because I, I, uh, I do have trouble hitting the smaller buttons. So I'm gonna install these this year and um, try these out. So these look really good, right? So you can get either one. Other similarities are colors. You can get them like right here. I'm sitting between a tree of Raptors, uh, black, white, uh, silver, and red. So those are the colors of Raptor. You can get the same colors in uh, Talon and Talon actually has blue ones as well. Um, all of them, Raptors or Talons, they all have a five year warranty. The spike that's on it, guaranteed for life, just like our shafts on Minn Kota Motors. The, these are indestructible uh, 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 composite material. You know, in 20 years with Minn Kota, I've seen one broken shaft and that was because the guy drove, backed over it uh, while it was on his driveway with his truck and he drove over the shaft and cracked it. Otherwise, I've never seen a broken shaft. So these are very indestructible, very tough, guaranteed for life, five years on everything else in the Talons and the Raptors. Um, so you can be very secure uh, with that. Um, and yeah, that's the main, main similarities that they have. As far as lengths, I'll go through that now as well. So Raptors, they come in eight and 10 foot lengths. In the eight foots, we have two different models. One has active anchoring and one doesn't. I'll go into that a bit at the end. Um, so Raptors are eight or 10 foot lengths and Talons are eight, 10, 12, and 15. So that may help you make your decision right there. If you're looking for something 12 or 15 feet, maybe you're a walleye guy and you're fishing a little deeper than the average bass guy. So you want 12 or 15 foot, well then you're gonna have to go to Talons and uh, you'd be very happy with those. I mean, like I said, I've been using Talons for years. I haven't found anything, uh, there's nothing about a Talon that I don't like. This year we're gonna try the Raptors and see, uh, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let you know after I spend a year using them. But so let's take a look. Those are the similarities between the two. Now let's take you through the rest of them and look at some of the differences. All right, so let's look at some of the differences between Talon and Raptor. So right here we have a Talon, right? The main difference is how they work, the system itself, right? This is a Talon right here. So it's always vertical like this. And if you hit your remotes or your apps or whatever, a spike comes out like that, right? And um, senses the bottom and stops when it has enough pressure. So in, in normal mode, it'll go down with 60 pounds of pressure. Uh, and uh, then give it a shot of 70 pounds and 80 pounds of pressure. That's in the regular mode, right? Um, I have it now in soft bottom mode, so it only goes down with 60 pounds of pressure. That would be for mud or something. But that's how it works. It's just a spike like that. I'll stop it right there. So it's a spike that comes out just vertically straight down, straight up, that's it, right? 
Uh, whereas a raptor is an articulated system. So it's like this right here, right? So this is it up in the stowed position. I can't go all the way up because I'm hitting the ceiling. Um, and then it comes down and it's got same idea, spike on it and the spike that, that digs in, okay? Um, so advantages or disadvantages. Well, this is a 10 foot talon. This is a 10 foot raptor. The raptor is longer than the 10 foot talon. So when the raptor is up, just vertical in your boat, it's gonna stick up higher than a same talon of the same depth, right? Um, this is a three stage deployment system. So it actually extends and extends, right? Um, kind of like sleeves, right? So that's why we can fit 10 feet in a smaller package like that right there. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking at a 10 foot Raptor, 10 foot Talon, they're not the same length, right? So, I mean, I've heard some people say, well, the Talon, the disadvantage is that these are always vertical in the boat. So, you know, they kind of get in the way of fishing or, you know, th because they're sticking up next to your engine, you know, um, whereas Raptors, when they're deployed, they're down and you don't see them anymore. But then on the other hand, I've also heard, well, raptors, they're in the water sticking out. So if you're fighting a fish, they can easily get caught in the raptors, you know. I, I, again, I haven't tried raptor yet. I don't see that being a big problem. I never had a problem with talons as far as them being vertical in the boat and getting in the way, you know, from somebody fishing in the back and getting in the way fighting a fish or for whatever reason, you know, maybe I'm not catching very many fish and maybe that's why, I don't know. But... I don't think that's going to be an advantage or a disadvantage to either of them, right? Uh, but they are two different systems like that. Um, as far as installing them on a boat, there are some similarities. So both of them, a Raptor or a Talon, straight out of the box, you can install them to the back of an aluminum boat or a flat transom boat. Uh, you can install them just with what comes in the box. You don't, do not need anything else. There's, they're actually the same hole pattern. So just one note is if you already have a Raptor in your, or a Talon and you're switching to Raptor, it's the same hole pattern. Um, but yeah, an aluminum boat, let's say, you can just mount them directly, drill four holes uh, in the back of your transom and mount it directly there. It comes with the bolts to do that, right? To install on, let's say, a bass boat application. So whether with a jack plate or not a jack plate. So just to give you an indication, the Lund that I've been running for the last few years did not have a jack plate. So I would use a sandwich style mount uh, that would fit between the uh, transom and the outboard, right? So that's that. This is the, talent, the bracket that I had for my talons, right? And you can get the same kind of mount for a uh, Raptor. Now this is the one that fits on the side of the jack plate, but same idea, right? So they fit uh, either on the side of a jack plate or sandwiched, and you're gonna have to decide whether you wanna do that. So my suggestion is if you have a jack plate, use the jack plate style mount. And if you do not, if you just have your engine on uh, the transom, then use a sandwich style. Um, so these black ones, these are the Raptor mounts. Now they're a fair amount lighter than Talon mounts. And the reason is because Raptors are a fair amount lighter than a Talon. So that's, that's one advantage for the Raptor is they weigh a lot less. Um, and I noticed that as soon as I took them out of the box, I, uh, I, I was actually holding this one up mounting and I'm holding it with one hand and putting in the bolts into mount it. I'm like, this is, this is super light. So, um, so that's one advantage for the Raptor is the weight, right? So the brackets are lighter and the Raptor itself is lighter. Um, the other uh, difference is, um, I think I mentioned that each one has a spike guaranteed for life, so that's pretty important. The electrical install. So the advantage of a talon is, is the installation. This is the wire that comes off the talon right here. So what you have is a positive and a negative, right? And those hook up to your battery and that's it. Your talon's installed, okay? There is another green wire that you'll see. This is an ignition wire. So this can tie into your ignition. And if your talons are down and you start your engine, an alarm will go off to say, hey, don't go anywhere because your talons are down. Frankly, I've seen some videos that were shot uh, to test talons and uh, you're not gonna go anywhere, trust me. But anyways, you should know uh, that your talon is down before you try to take off. So that's what the green ignition wire is there. So it explains how to hook that up in the instructions as well. So that's the talon install. You know, decide what plate you want or put it directly to the back and then you have power, uh, positive and negative ignition wire, that's it. So very easy to, um, to install a, tal uh, a talon. Um, 
The other advantage of Talon too is they're very easy to take off. So speaking of this power cable, when I was using Talons last year, I just put, we make a quick disconnect for the, this actual wire right here. So very easy to install, quick disconnect. Essentially you're cutting this and putting a connection in there and uh, you know, nice metal connection. That way you can unscrew it. This stays, this end stays hooked up to your battery. You're good to go. You take your power cable, you loosen this, both sides, four sides, and the Talon will slide right off. So if you're in a place where you're worried about it getting stolen or maybe you're leaving it at the dock all week while you're away from the cottage and you want to take it off, Talon is very, very easy to take off. Very, very easy. Um, uh, so let's take a look at the Raptor. Raptor's a little bit harder to, to install and take off. Um, I'm going to show you the hydraulic system of a Raptor. But before I do that, both of them can be put on a... Uh, tilt bracket so this I put this talon right here on a tilt bracket so you can actually tilt it forward the reason why you want to do that is let's say you're backing into your garage and you uh, you know your either your talons or your raptors are sticking up too high and you have trouble backing into your garage you may want to put them on a tilt bracket like that uh, that's why the, those tilt brackets are available so there's the same tilt bracket that can be used for raptors or talons like I said it's the same whole pattern so that's how you install a, a Talon. Let's take a look at the install and the hydraulic system that comes with a Raptor. And this is the hydraulic pump that comes with Raptor. So it's, it's not that big, but you do have to install it somewhere in the back of the boat in, in a compartment somewhere. Um, and so what the Raptor comes with is these hydraulic lines. So this is quite a bit of hydraulic lines. You have to run this uh, into a compartment in your boat somewhere. Uh, you can drill two holes. There's two there's a hydraulic line up and down, so two lines uh, that have to be installed. There's a little grommet on here for when you do drill a hole and install it, right? And these will hook up to the pump right here, okay? And then there is also an electrical line, so positive and negative uh, for this. This is what runs the pump, just a positive and negative, so that's all that has to be hooked up onto your battery. And then uh, it ships with hydraulic fluid. So once your electrical lines, your electrical line is connected and your hydraulic lines are connected, then you'll start filling up your reservoir, reservoir and um, start running the Raptor. So it's 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 nothing too complicated to install, but it's a lot more involved than a, than a Talon. So that's one of the big differences. Uh, you know, Raptors they're lighter, uh, but they are more complicated to install. And that's the first thing I noticed when I when I opened up a box of uh, a, a Raptor box. I kind of looked at it and I said, wow, we had the Talon right. We did, you know, the Minn Kota uh, engineers did it right because the install was so, pr so, so easy. Um, but again, Raptors, it's not that complicated, but it is a hydraulic system. So these are the things you have to look at. Um, so that's pretty much it. A um, couple of things that uh, I just wanted to go over. So one, one, uh, one of the other advantages is... Um, Active anchoring. So Raptors have something called active anchoring. So there's, there's an eight foot model that does have it and an eight foot model that doesn't have it. Any 10 foot Raptor has active anchoring. You'll see AA in the description. And what that is, is it senses the bottom, right? Uh, so if, if you start moving over a bit and it starts losing grip on the bottom, it'll sense that and it'll start pushing down harder to keep you locked down on the bottom. So that's something that you don't find with Talon. Now, having said that, I've never used a Talon and had it uh, lose grip, you know, like lose grip on the bottom. You know, they're, they're super, super strong as well. You know, in fact, the first time I used a Talon was actually down in Alabama fishing and um, it was a very red clay kind of area there. And uh, it actually pushed down so hard that it got stuck uh, and, and an alarm will actually go off to let me know that it, it let me know it, it chirped three times to say that we're, I'm stuck, so loosen it. So all you have to do is push the boat back a bit, back and forth, it'll loosen the grip and it'll come up. But I mean, they're both super, super strong. Um, I wouldn't even be concerned about whether they're going to hold you in place or not. You know, the one question I have had was, well, what if it's rock? What if it's, you know, up in Canada, there's Canadian shield rock where it's just smooth rock. Well, no, they're not going to drill through rock, you know? So, uh, so they'll do their best to hold you on solid rock and they'll normally find a crack in the rock and then just stay there, right? Uh, so active anchoring is something that you only find with Raptors. Uh, the other advantage of Raptors weight, like I said, it's a lot lighter. Um, and there's also adjustable anchoring speed on it. So you can control the descent of the Raptor. Uh, so the speed of the descent, um, uh, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. I, like, I'm always trying to be honest with you guys. I, I haven't used a Raptor yet. I'm 
getting a jack plate installed on my boat today. And I'm going to mount rafters on the side of that, but I haven't used a rafter yet. So I'm not sure why you would want to control the descent of the rafter, but you can do it if you want. Um, the advantage of Talon, I'm going to say, um, very easy to take off if you want to have them take them off at the end of the day because you're worried about them getting stolen. Uh, they have work lights on them, actually. Uh, that's something you won't find in rafter. Talons actually have lights on the top. Uh, to, to work blue and white lights so if you fish at night and you need help tying knots and stuff like that. Talons also have a depth indicator if you look at the, the uh, control panel on the talon itself is there's there's a, a couple of dots there that'll give you a, a visual indication of how deep it is. Um, so that's something you won't find in uh, talon or in raptor sorry. The other thing with talon is they have a kind of a sus suspension in them. So if you imagine your, your talon's deployed and it's down and it's in the sand and it's solid there, but you go stand, you go from the front of the boat to the back of the boat. Now the back of the boat is going to go down a bit, right? Especially with me and the extra COVID weight that I'm carrying right now, which I promise will be gone by summer. Um, but uh, th it actually has a suspension system in them. So if there's more weight where it is, it'll actually, the, the, it'll actually give like this, right? So it doesn't lose its grip, right? Uh, there's the alarm on the talon too, the ignition alarm if you hook it up as well. And you can control the talon from the talon itself, right? So that's maybe another advantage that you might want to think of. Uh, you can actually control the Raptor from, from here as well, but this would be in a, in a compartment, so a little higher, harder to, uh, to access. So I think that about covers it, Talon and Raptor. Um, I'm very anxious to try the Raptors this year. Um, you know, uh, they, they just, I think they look great. That's one of the big things is they look great. I'm kind of curious to see how the less weight on the back of my boat, how my boat will react to that. Uh, so... That, that may make a difference, but, uh, you know, having talons on there, they were heavier, but didn't affect my boat at all, you know, didn't slow down my boat or anything like that. So uh, those are the main differences. If you have any other questions, please put it in the comments and I will answer you as fast as I can. So don't be shy to, to leave a question down there if I miss something. Uh, please give us a subscribe, a like. I, I want to do more of these videos. You have any ideas of what you want to see? Uh, you know, let me know what you want to see, but I would definitely appreciate a subscribe button and uh, that way you'll stay up to date with everything that's coming up. Thanks again. Stay tuned for the next video, which will probably be on Nishini Lures. Uh, we'll put one of those up in, uh, in a couple of days. Thank you.